Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezozaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this Dragon Queen comes through. It wasn't fair. To bring you to Marina and not let you... I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, another fucking apology. I'll add it to my collection. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. You denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. To the letter, if reports are true. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. And we're both easy on the eyes. <laughs> and modest, I see. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. <laughs> this gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. 
But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Atla River. We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south, to join Mance, and the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter, and when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No. We don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Fens, probably. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you co Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides... I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. 
Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Garrett. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrett. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <sighs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Where's your mother now? Hard to say for sure. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother... She didn't want to leave. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Your whole village just kicked you out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. Well, 
You're right so far. You'll do nicely, little one. Will that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall, but we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real, then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Aish River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Garrett! Look out! 